So I got a comment from a user who was publicly declaring that they were unsubbing from me because I wasn't talking about the subject of religion enough. Now, first of all, I made my channel five years ago and started making video blogs about four and a half years ago. In that time, I made innumerable videos on the subject of religion and they're all there in my back catalog of videos for you to watch if that's really your concern. I don't appreciate this idea that people treat YouTube users and the people who make content as if we are here to entertain you and talk about what you specifically want to hear. Nobody is forcing you to watch any particular video when you see it in your subscription box and you see the title, you can choose to watch it or not. I'm really sort of disheartened by this sense of entitlement which a lot of people seem to have towards content makers. It's really, I mean, I have better things to do with my time than entertain you personally and talk about what you want to talk about. I make videos for a lot of reasons, but honestly, the audience is not really something that you can totally hold in mind. Half the people would have you, you know, change your appearance or change your subject matter or do this or do that, appear more on camera, appear less on camera, make your videos this way, make your videos that way. Basically, the audience breaks down in that if you, you couldn't possibly actually do what they want. It's just do what you want, talk about what you want, and whoever watches, watches. I mean, that's really the best you can hope for unless you want to create yourself into some sort of brand or product which is nothing, never something I really care to do. In terms of the subject of religion, it's interesting because I'm a philosophy major, I'm the sort of person who likes to argue and am interested in these subjects, but a lot of the people who tune in and they comment, it almost seems like they're more concerned about just repeating the mantra, religion is stupid, religious people are stupid, 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 and they have no real interest in it. Uh, my opinion is that Religion is the product of culture, which is the product of the human mind, which is the product of evolution. It serves some sort of function, and it's not going to go away until we discover that we're function and replace it. And no matter how much you badger people with how stupid or illogical it is, it's really not going to go away until you find something better for people to structure their lives around. Something similar came up when I was watching DOS American Atheist, James, hey, how are you, man? He made a video in which he talked about what religion's contributions were to society, and he had to make a follow-up video in which people were saying, well, we would have had all of those things without religion. Now, my honest opinion is, Basically, history played out the way it did for a reason. People believe that the Earth was flat because they lacked the knowledge to know any better. I think that we have to educate people as to why, you know, why they shouldn't believe this, why they shouldn't believe the Earth is flat, why they shouldn't believe that the Earth is 6,000 years old, and we should not take for granted that we possess a vast amount of information which was simply handed to us in school, in childhood, not everybody possesses the same information. Not everybody combines that information in the same way. So to point to people in the past um, and say, well, they were stupid for believing that, well, look what else they had to believe in comparatively. Look at the state of knowledge about the world in their time and understand that even in your own time, there are some people who do not possess all the same facts about the world that you do, who do not believe all the same things about the world you do, and the best you can do is try and educate them in a different direction, explain to them why these beliefs are folly. Um, it really, Professor Anton was talking about the fact that he felt that a lot of atheists on YouTube feel that they need to come out and they need to sort of have this cathartic, therapeutic letting go of Christianity. They're, they're angry at religion, they want to lash out or whatever it is, and they, they, they want to take out their own feelings of being victimized by religion on other people. Um, personally, the idea of God just holds no weight in my mind. I'm not 
it doesn't even concern me. I'm not afraid of hell. I don't take any of these religious ideas very seriously anymore. I've just mentally evolved beyond that. But at the same time, I still have a sort of intellectual curiosity. But I feel that a lot of people aren't really interested in, in a sort of intellectual curiosity in religion, and that's why I'm sorting to see where Professor Anton was coming from when he was saying these things, in that a lot of people, like I said before, are just like, religion sucks, religion sucks. And I also find it strange that people want, people want us, the people who have historically, in the history of YouTube, talked a lot about these things, to just continue talking about them ad nauseum. I mean, there's like, revolution in Egypt and people are like, why aren't you making more videos on religion and stuff like that? I, I, I don't entirely understand that, but I feel like why, why should I put the effort into trying to analyze all of these, co you know, complex uh, scenarios and situations and, and philosophical issues and scientific matters or whatever it is involving religion when you, when you're preaching to the choir and all they really want to hear is religion is stupid. Um, a lot of people have been saying, oh, Venom Vang X is back, Venom Vang X, he's up to his old tricks, he's blocking comments. Honestly, when I first started on YouTube, there were people like Veritas48, MigKiller2, and they modeled themselves after William Lane Craig. Um, I despise creationists, and Venom Fang X was basically parroting um, Kent Hoban. We all know this, or if you've never heard of him, look up who Kent Hoban is or Venom Fang X. Anyway, he has essentially moved on, started to become like a freshman college student to take some introductory college classes, and I watch his videos now, and I see he made one on science, and he's like, the philosophy of science is blah, 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 blah. Now, as a senior philosophy major, and have written, you know, taken, you know, dozens of classes and read dozens of syllabuses and course catalogs, I know what you know, a generic course catalog description or, you know, course description in a syllabus sounds like, and that's a bench of uh, what he is regurgitating. So I see where he's coming from. I can see where his intellectual development is, and it's far beneath me. Um, also, in terms of personality, I think that he is slightly unhinged, and I also think that he desperately just wants to get laid, and that's clear in several of his videos. And paying him more attention, because he does seem to be highly narcissistic, and, you know, allowing him to create drama and getting sucked into his drama is exactly what he wants. Um, he makes all these exaggerated statements, and it's like, pfft, you know, okay, number one, you're just, you're just parroting this philosopher or Dinesh D'Souza or something. Two, even those people who are far more articulate than he is are completely full of shit. Um, Dinesh D'Souza is one of those people that I really have no tolerance for any of his sophistry or his, his completely facile and erroneous interpretation of Western history or the lies that are propagated about, oh, the Nazi, you know, Hitler killed the Jews because of atheists. You know, no, read a history book. This is ridiculous. Um, and I, there's only so long that you can really bang your, your head against the wall of human stupidity before your head really starts to hurt. I want to talk about things that interest me, and occasionally that happens to be religion, but till then, I mean, if you don't want to hear what I have to say about whatever I happen to want to make a video about, then don't watch, unsub, piss off, I don't know what to tell people anymore. Um, I never, I never started doing this to, to be any specific thing or join some sort of internet revolution or any of that, and if you go back and watch my earliest videos, you can see that that's the case. Um, really, whatever. That's I've already rambled enough.